to start, they went out of bounds, he doubled it, and he was ready to compete and wrestle. Uh, after you get some points on him, you're up 4 nothing, 6 nothing. You can ease off on the risky positions and go to more fundamental bases. Credit to Nickel, did a great job. Proud of Miles Mark for going after it and trying to put a team in position. So it went from potentially four, it was two nothing, then four, potentially four nothing to over in a flash. You know, it was four nothing. It was four nothing. He comes off his back and he feels Miles driving him to create, to uh, put him back on his back. He he goes back to the it's, it's called cement mixer. He goes back to the cement mixer because when you get in it, it's like being stuck in cement. You're not getting out. So you know, heartbreaking for Miles. Really proud of him. It's not what we came for, but. Uh, couldn't be more proud of the team. And sum up the tournament as a whole for you guys? You know, the standard has become so high, right? That is the highest score in NCAA history to finish second. Uh, we have we eight All-Americans, a school record. Uh, we have five returning All-Americans. We wrestled well. We didn't wrestle well enough to win, but I'm proud of the team. My, my question yeah. is, you get it more than any other of the coaches as far as you, you bring Mark Bader on your bus. You make yeah. such an event out of it. You're, there's so much exposure with Ohio State. Coach Kale has a completely different yeah. philosophy on it. You really get the, the, the promotion part of it. You're an excellent CEO coach. Why is it so important to you? Why do you why do you why are you so open armed? Why is it so transparent? And has it hurt you? Do you, do you no, think? I don't think it hurts us. I think I think the human interest side is how you how you grow fan base. People have to see the behind the scenes stuff. You look at NFL, the NFL films. NFL films, to some degree, change the NFL. The backs, the, 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 the short clips, the behind the scenes stuff. And so that's a piece of it, the promotion. The other piece, I love my guys. I want people to know the type of men they are. Their examples. I, I truly believe that the platform is far bigger than winning wrestling matches. And if you've got people that are living life a certain way, and you've got others looking at them and saying, you know what? That's what I want to be like. Wrestling doesn't get that and flow and has really introduced that to the sport of wrestling. So we're grateful, we're thankful, and I just believe that's the way to do it. I'm not saying it's right or wrong. I just believe that's the way. Okay, my thing is, whenever I want to grab an Ohio State guy, I don't need to ask anyone. Yeah. I just go grab the guy, and the guy yeah. talks to me honestly. Other you've got SIDs, garden guys, yeah. and it's really, you got to navigate the yeah. waters, right? For you guys, it, it, do you coach them up like that? Yeah, no, it's, a sentiment, it's a sentiment of the program. When people come in our room, we thank them. The team thanks them. When they come to watch practice, we thank them. It's just, you know, I think the underlying, the underlying theme is we're servants. Right, we're servants. And when you're a servant, whether you're the most important guy by a human label or someone that by a human label you're not, you're valued the same. And, uh, when, it's, when that's your philosophy, it, uh, it stains the minds of all those in your organization. You're at Hofstra, you share PE time in the room, right? You're yeah. in a dungeon room, you share time with people. You sh a PE class, you have to make time around that. Yeah. Now you're building one of the, the best facilities on the planet. You've gone from in, you know 11 years, 12 years now, right? You've gone from Hofstra, Long Island, to Ohio State having the best Best thing going on the planet. Obviously, state college is a pretty good thing too. But yeah. what's that like for you? And is that does that come to mind when like, hey man, we gotta we gotta promote this. We gotta bring people in. We gotta put eyeballs on it. Yeah, I think there's a lot of pillars, you know, pillars to success. Certainly, one of them is a complex that is uh, as special as the people that train in it. And we didn't have that. We have a good, we have a good facility, but now we have an elite facility. So that was a, that was a fundamental building block that I knew when I got there that we we're gonna have to do. And most importantly, despite what I want to do, I've got an athletic director that says, all right, let's do it. That's not, we'll, we'll, we'll team together, we'll get the funds raised, and we'll build it. So that's a, that's, that's a building block. The other building block is an Olympic training center. Every elite organization has individuals in it that are the highest level. That, that young people coming in can say, that's the standard I want to get to. And we have that. Uh, so now, there aren't any pillars of, of necessities to remain at the lead organization. I guess the last piece, and those other pieces, but the last piece is just people of character. People that make good choices, people that understand to run, run toward the things you should, but also run away from the things that you should. And as long as we continue to do that, we'll be in good shape for a long time. Tom, you said before the tournament that 
that the NCAA runner-up here was probably going to be the greatest NCAA runner-up. That's the way it turned out. I mean, is this better sweet for you? Uh, I'd be lying if I said that it wasn't. Um, you know, we came here, uh, three seniors led the way the last four years. We've been first, third, second, second. Um, so there's some pain with it, but there's also, when you get over that, the human side of it, you embrace the blessings. And the blessings are the relationships and the way these guys fought back, uh, the way we competed. So I'm proud of the team.